Hello, uh, my name is Venkata Mahidhar Inigonda. I am an Associate Professor and Director for Drug Discovery and Nanomedicine Research Program. Now, I would like to give a brief overview of our uh, review article uh, titled Lipid Polymer Hybrid Nanoparticle as a Next Generation Drug Delivery Platform. Our review mainly covers the following topics. Structural elucidation and hybrid formation, methods of preparation, and advancements in drug delivery applications as well as future possibilities for the platform. Nanotechnology is a compelling medicinal platform with potential to greatly impact the delivery of therapeutics. In general, payloads are encapsulated within or covalently grafted onto the surface of the nanocarriers and after being systemically taken up by cells, the payload is released after fusion with the lysosome. Both lipid nanoparticles and polymer nanoparticles have been widely used as a delivery vehicle for various drugs and biologics to treat a variety of disease conditions, some of which have already been approved by the FDA. Both technologies come with their own advantages and disadvantages, however, to overcome these limitations, the next generation lipid polymer hybrid was created, combining the structure and stability of polymer nanoparticle with the biocompatibility and safety of liposomes. And what is a lipid polymer hybrid nanoparticle? As shown here, the lipid polymer hybrid nanoparticle consists of a polymer core often encapsulating the drug, a lipid monolayer surrounding the polymer core, third, a outer layer of lipid PEG. The lipid PEG component can also be functionalized with ligands for actively targeting delivery. The entire particle is on average between 50 to 100 nanometer in diameter. A number of methods exist to prepare lipid polymer hybrid nanoparticles. While conventional techniques for production involved two or more steps, more modern studies have streamlined the process into one step method. For the nano precipitation, one step method, drug and polymer are dissolved in water like organic solvent. The lipid and lipid PEG dissolved in water or heated to a, a temperature beyond the phase change temperature of the lipid. The drug and polymer mixture are added dropwise to the lipid dispersion under continuous stirring for homogenation. The nanoparticle precipitates and the lipid and lipid PEG layers aggregate around the nanoparticle core due to hydrophobic interaction. This is an alternative one-step method that can also be modified to encapsulate hydrophobic or hydrophilic drugs. In a single emulsion, a hydrophobic drug is dissolved in organic solvent and then emulsified in an aqueous solvent to form a oil in water emulsion. For the double emulsion method, the hydrophilic drug in aqueous solution is emulsified in an oil phase, then emulsified again in an aquatic solvent to form a water in oil in water emulsion. In both cases, the organic solvent is evaporated out, forming the polymer core while the lipids assemble around it to create the lipid polymer hybrid nanoparticles. The hybrid particle containing both lipid and polymer confers several advantages. The lipid shell is highly biocompatible and can evade the immune system. The polymer core releases the payload to, to the disease site over the time, improve the response and overcome resistance. The lipid PEG coat 
prolongs systemic circulation and stabilizes the structure and can be customized with targeting ligands. Given these advantages, a large number of applications for this platform exist. Non-targeted lipid polyhybrid nanoparticles have already been utilized for drug delivery, diagnostics and delivery of genetic materials. Within the last two years, a number of new applications for the lipid polymer hybrid nanoparticle platform have been demonstrated such as photoresponsive hybrid nanoparticles for controlled release of doxorubicin. In our lab, we want to use the hybrid platform in conjugation with convention enhanced delivery where the payload is directly delivered to the target site via a catheter. This CED method is already used in number of clinical trials and demonstrates better distribution of payload around the disease target site when compared to standard diffusion methods. Lipid polymer hybrid nanoparticles have displayed success in translating new clinical and drug delivery application from bench to beside with a significant impact in the field of oncology. Continued innovation in the preparation of lipid polymer hybrid nanoparticle will lead to efficient large scale production. We predict expanding uses for the lipid polymer hybrid nanoparticle for treating variety of disease conditions. Finally, I would like to uh, thank all our uh, contributors who participate uh, uh, this, uh, in this review article. And also uh, thank you uh, DoFres uh, for giving opportunity to uh, prepare the video abstract of our review article.